hi guys welcome or welcome back to the channel it has been a while again but i'm here so i already washed and blow dry my hair i use my cream of nature leave-in conditioner and then to straighten my hair i'm going to use the anti-humidity gloss and shine heat protectant from cream of nature and i'm just going to spray this all over my hair first i'm going to go in with my turvix comb and straighten my new growth so i did relax my hair um some time back i was going to record it however it happened that i didn't get to record it but yeah i'm just straightening out all the new growth so we need to remember protecting our hair is very important just like before i blow dry my hair i use my leave-in conditioner and that's a heat protectant and then to flat iron my hair i went in with my mist which is another heat protectant like guys there are different types of heat protectants and you need to know when to use them you can't use this now and then think like it's okay not to use it after a do the opposite like that's not how heat protectants work y'all will mess up your hair if you do not know what you're doing okay all right so you see me now giving the ends a little curl that was not necessary for me because i was installing a straight clipping so i did not have to do that but i don't know why i did it now y'all i'm going to show you my length check so this is my hair, how it is. Um, it's still in like a butterfly layered cut. I did clip my ends, so I'm very proud of myself. I got that done, but this is my length check, yeah. So this is the hair, I bought it from Lashi. Yeah, Lashi. And I'm just gonna show you guys what come in it. I got one pack of hair. And I like their lashes. I think they're too long, but these are lashes that I would wear if they were shorter. So at first I bought this texture, which is kinky. And then after I went back and got the straight one because for the kinky here, and this is actually two packs. For the kinky here, it takes a while because you have to blow it out, then you have to straighten it. And I just wanted one where I just took it out of the pack and put it on my head and then we go. But as I took it out of the pack, this had a little bump to it you know like i was bumping my hair it had a bump to it that's why i said it was so unnecessary for me to even try and bump my hair but i straightened it out because you know it's they're gonna be bumped at different in different directions so you have to bump them yourself now i have one row of floor clippings i'm going to have two rows of three clippings another two row of two clippings and another two row of one clipping and as y'all can see like that hair color matched my front hair the front part of my hair perfectly but when it comes on to the rest of my hair it doesn't because the front of my hair is brown and then the back part is black it's very weird but that's how my hair works out and i don't have any color or anything in my hair by the way now this first clipping that i did that was unnecessary because if you're going to do like a ketchup if you plan to catch your hair in one you really do not need this but i'm just showing you all like this is how secure the clippings are they're not going to come out unless somebody literally rips it out of your head but if y'all want to start y'all can start with the four piece clipping and you make the parting from the top part of your ears going around are just like a half a part above your ears and then you go around and then you can install this part how i install my clippings to make sure they are secure secure i lift my natural hair up lift it up and then i put it in some people just push the clip in the hair and think like it's secure perfectly no it's not you have to make sure you lift your hair up now for the front piece, I left an inch. So when I bring back my hair to cover the clippings, they will not show. And by the way, this is the seamless, seamless clippings. So they're not as obvious as the regular clippings. So that's all I did. I continued to clip, clip until I was finished. 
the main reason why i'm wearing clippings now is because it's so much easier and faster to install like you just put it in today you take it out tomorrow it's just so quick and easy and i'm going to be honest like i'm not really feeling wigs anymore i am not like everybody we all wear wigs for specific reasons but i am not feeling wigs anymore and i do not need wigs you know i just wore it because i wanted to wear it i wanted to protect my hair when it was colder and stuff like that but honestly i'll probably start wearing a hat for now on <laughs> and if i feel like i want to put on a wig at some point in time i'll probably do that but at this point i'm not going to be wearing any wigs for now so with the clippings they are seamless they're not the regular ones they're seamless so as i said if you catch your hair in one like it's not going to show as long as you clip it in on the right in the right place it will not show and if you want one side of your hair to look thicker then you put more clippings over there if you want the other side to look flatter then you put less clippings over there you know it just works out so easy and just really so seamless This is the end result and as y'all can see this really looks super natural like I can catch my hair in one and it doesn't even look like I have been clip-ons worst of all my hair is in a butterfly layer cut so it wouldn't even be obvious that hey girl you got clip-ons in no it's not you catch your hair up you let your hair out you go about your business and that's your life it is so easy just to install clippings now i'm gonna bump back the ends of the clippings and this is it guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned and enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this and thank you again so much for watching and you'll see another video coming soon bye